Are you often hearing these phrases? I'm not sure. I'm not ready. I can wait. See, I'm not desperate to buy or sell. I'm not in a rush. What do you do or say when you hear these words? In this video, I will be sharing with you how to read in between the lines. When your client or prospect says those things like, oh, I don't know if it's the right time. I'm not too sure. I'm not feeling it. What you shouldn't be saying is, oh, okay, no worries, you know, take your time, I'll chat with you when you're ready, or yeah, call me when you uh, make up your mind. That's not what you should be saying or what you should be doing. What you should be doing is stop talking and listening. So you have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Listen two times more than you speak. The Bible says, be quick to listen and slow to speak. Find out what is in between those lines that they are saying. What's behind it? Ask the right questions. Figure out what is going on in their mind. Every prospect or client will say different things to cover up their uncertainty, to cover up their insecurities, cover up their ego, or even so that they don't look stupid. Try to figure out, ask them smart questions. Ask them what's important to them. So step number one is stop talking. Step number two is focus on their needs. What are their needs? Figure out what their needs are. And you get that from not talking and asking the right questions and then listening. What's important to you? Why is it important that you move into this neighborhood? Why is it important that you have three bedrooms on the second floor as opposed to four bedrooms? How does it feel to live close to a school or close to a shopping center? Or to be in the center of the city? Find out what their motivations are. Find out their true intentions on buying or selling a home. Or if you're selling a product or service, find out what is the client or prospect thinking? Ask them, why, why do you like this aspect of this product? What makes this product intriguing to you? How will this feature help you? The phrases are not that important because it depends on the product and service you're selling. But depending on the product or service and depending on the client, be tactful on what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. You know, you don't have to be like a commercial and and say it in an infomercial kind of way. How do you feel when you uh, buy this product? How do you like it? What's so great about it? You don't have to be over exaggerated. Just listen carefully. Ask questions and listen. And when your client or prospect feels understood, you'll truly be able to find out their true motive in buying the product or service you're selling. The third step is painting a picture for your clients. See, in real estate, it's about finding out what drives the client to buy this particular home or why they need to sell their property in a timely manner. And painting a picture helps them to guide them from uncertain and maybe I should wait and see and think because inaction gives them security. They feel that change gives them uncertainty and they will want to hold on to something. So they hold on to doing nothing. So well, let me wait and see. Let me just uh, don't do anything. Let me just not do anything and everything will be safe. And find out more, ask questions, stop talking and listening and paint a picture for them. See, imagine if you moved here and you have this great living room for entertaining your guests. You have this great backyard for the kids to play. This huge porch for barbecues on the weekend. And when you're tired from work, you just go upstairs and bam! This master bedroom, master spa inspired ensuite where you can just soak in the hot tub and relax. How does that feel? And the grocery store down the street, the restaurant's just two minute walk away. Like, that's just super convenient. 
and you can say it in like this kind of calm manner or depending on the client let's say they're very down to earth you don't have to sound like you're acting or performing a play or whatever you just say hey hey John this place is super sweet it really I think it meets your needs it's super open concept so like imagine cooking your your dinner and being able to watch your kids while you uh, while you prep your food and like the, the living room space is huge so you can be like playing with your kids and watching the the latest football game and you can be entertaining the boys on the porch and this huge spacious grassy backyard your kids you can put a playground in there and oh it's just amazing and it's south facing backyard so you get tons of sun and when you're tired after a hard day's work you just go upstairs and you have the giant spa inspired bathroom this like jetted tub like just imagine that and steam shower come on hey who doesn't love a steam shower adjust your way of speaking depending on the client obviously speaking to a senior is different from speaking to a millennial so you have to know how to speak to your clients ask the right questions listen stop talking paint a picture for them step number four is let your clients justify their purchase or sale of their home if they made a purchase ask them congratulations on your purchase what are you going to do first are you going to renovate are you going to move in where are you plan on putting that couch and that tv you know what kind of bed are you going to buy let them visualize it themselves and justify it to you that they made the right purchase ask them what are you most excited about in moving into your new home help them justify their purchase and not have any buyer's remorse and if they've sold their place and they're moving on to the next chapter in life either buying a property or moving out of town or whatever ask them so what's your plan next now you sold your place you got a bunch of money what are you gonna do next are you planning to buy that next property what what's that property gonna look like chances are you've probably had that conversation before you've sold their property you kind of have an idea of what they're gonna buy but reinforce that aren't you excited for the home buying process now we can finally write some offers and we're gonna go on some tours and we're gonna see some beautiful homes what what are you most excited about ask them are you ready for uh, taking that next step in your uh, next chapter in life ask them let them justify to you that they've made the right decision step number five when your clients are not sure and you've stopped talking you ask the right questions at the right time and you start listening and then you're able to find out their needs you're able to paint a picture and then you let them justify that picture but last but not least when they're not sure don't chase them don't come on top of them and like oh let me interview you why it's not the right place don't give pressure don't chase your clients or prospects let them chase you give them that space and when they feel that you've given them the space they feel secure and certain and then they're able to come back to you give them the space don't chase your clients let them chase you if they're not ready gently push them away don't be like oh yeah you're not ready yeah just call me when you're ready yeah don't waste my time that's wrong that's not the right thing to say that is just gonna ruin your reputation and it it's not good so when your clients are just not ready or not certain gently push them away be tactful like I said depends on who the clientele is be tactful and with your vocabulary and the timing but gently push them away and let them come back to you all right that's it for today i hope you found value hit the subscribe button click the notification bell and i will see you in the next video